Hey everyone, this is Ryan from WP Psychcare. I wanted to do a tutorial today. It's one I've actually meant to do for a while, but I want to show you guys how to run Windows Live Writer on your Mac. And it's actually not anywhere near as complicated as it sounds. Uh, there is a small cost involved to get it to get it to work, but um, the actual process of getting it to work is actually quite easy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and open up a program called Parallels Desktop. Parallels is really awesome. Basically what it does is it allows you to run any Windows, um, any version of Windows inside what's called a virtual machine. Basically you can run Windows on your Mac without any kind of hang-ups or issues. Now you can see I have Windows XP and Windows 7 installed already but I'm gonna go ahead and install Windows 8 just, be, just so you can see that how you know how easy this process is I think people get intimidated by the idea of you know a virtual machine and what that is and what that entails so let's go ahead and create a new one here for um, for Windows 8 and we want to go ahead and install Windows um, from a DVD or image file I've downloaded that file to my computer already which brings up a point you will need to purchase a copy of Windows in order to make this make this tutorial work um, you can obviously purchase whichever <clears throat> excuse me whichever version you're most comfortable with uh, but for today's purposes we're gonna install uh, Windows 8 so we'll go ahead and select that click continue and we are going to uh, choose our image file and it's just right here on our desktop so we're gonna open that up continue and it kind of uh, it actually really surprised me that uh, how quickly um, how quickly we were able to install this so I'm actually gonna go ahead and choose to run Windows like Windows okay we are back all I did uh, literally was wait for Windows to finish installing I didn't click anything else I didn't uh, you know didn't uh, I, I basically just waited 11 minutes Windows is installed now and as you can see we are now running Windows 8 on on our Mac so which is pretty sweet so the rest is pretty straightforward all we need to do is uh, open up our browser browse for Windows Live Writer and we're going to download it here uh, this should just take a second we'll go ahead and install Windows Live Writer and we are now using well actually we're gonna skip over all this stuff, all this extra stuff. We want to keep Rider. We'll go ahead and install Rider. Uh, Alright, so I have finished installing Windows Live Rider. I didn't think you guys needed to see that, so I just let it go. And from this point on, you guys know what to do, but, but what I wanted to show you uh, was something that it is pretty sweet, because you know the process of opening up one of these virtual machines every time you want to use it um, or or something like that is not you know totally ideal so what I wanted to show you how to do um, is use Windows Live Writer without having to open a pair without having to open a virtual machine so I'm not gonna finish configuring Windows Live Writer you know how to do that but I do want to come over here and uh, suspend this virtual machine and then I want to go ahead and close my virtual machine so what when we installed Windows 8 on this Mac it added a new folder called Windows 8 applications now this is pretty sweet you're gonna like this so now you know I don't have parallels open anymore I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna open this Windows 8 applications folder and I am going to find 
Windows Live Writer right here. This is something that I can easily add to my desktop if I want to. And what this does is it launches uh, Windows Live Writer in uh, what's called uh, coherence mode. And if your virtual machine's already been started, it will never take this long. But um, now our we're right back where we started, but we're not inside any kind of extra window. We're not running. It doesn't. We are running Windows, but it's not within another window, if that makes sense. So it's just like any other application on our Mac. We are able to uh, use it just like we were on a Windows machine. So uh, let's go ahead and set this up really quick. And we're just going to set up set it up using my blog so uh, we'll go ahead and choose we'll just add our address here uh, username And we're set up and we're ready to go. So, uh, again, uh, this is the <laughs> here we are. We're going to use Windows Live Writer on our Mac completely uh, transparently, just like we were going to use it on Windows. And here we are, ready to write our post. So, uh, hope that was a good tutorial. A little bit of waiting time and Hope that was it. Uh, wasn't too big a deal, but now you know how to use Windows Live Writer on your Mac. Thanks.